Hey, what's going on Aquarius? Butch Tarot here. I'm gonna do your one week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. And we're gonna be using a new deck that I recently got. Um, the Eight of Coins Tattoo Tarot, which is a little different than the Tattoo Tarot that I'm, I'm, I usually use, so. That being said, let's get it. All right, Aquarius. So the first thing I see is there's someone, I feel like there's someone that you may have just recently met or someone that you've been dealing with. Now I feel like, I feel like if you felt like this person's been hiding something from you, you feel like there's something that you're not aware of. You know, there's something not, there's something that's been missing. Even though I feel like your connection is getting stronger with this person, I, that's when it becomes more apparent that there's something missing. There's something that you're not aware of and, and you feel it. Your intuition is telling you there is something not right here. Now, what you've been feeling is I feel like this person has a hard time making a decision. I feel like there may be somebody else in this person's life that you may not be aware of. I don't feel like they necessarily lied to you about it. I just feel like they never mentioned it. But I feel like the more time you spend with this person, the more connection, this connection grows. I feel like they finally, they finally came to a decision You know, they know what they want. I feel like this person wasn't sure about this connection in the beginning. I feel like they weren't sure where it was going. They weren't sure, you know, where this connection was leading. But the more they got to know you, the more they were interested. The more they became, you know, they started to feel that connection. Started to see things in a different perspective. Now, I feel like the choice that they made is I feel like that there was somebody else in their life. But I feel like that has come to an end. And I feel like this person wants to tell you the truth. They have a confession for you. Now, I feel like when this person tells you this, I feel like it's very genuine. You know, they're authentically coming to you with open arms. You know, I feel like they regret not telling you in the beginning. I feel like a lot of it, it, it stems from the fact that this person, uh, you know, I feel like there was a lot of internal struggle with this person. I feel like they knew fairly quickly that there was something more with you. And like I said, the more they got, the more they felt that connection with you, the less connection they have with that other person. Now, I feel like they are afraid to tell you this because they're afraid that you may not accept them. But I feel like they want to come clean. They, and what, like I said, what they're telling you is the truth. You know, I feel like they want to nurture this connection. 
because not only do do they have a you know a, a strong mental connection with you, the physical connection is there, but I feel like there's an emotional connection as well uh, with that lover's card. I feel like there is a very strong energy between the two of you that they didn't see in the beginning, and that's why we have that hangman. Like I said, they're seeing things in a different perspective. You know, they realize that you're both on the same page, and like I said, with this other person that they that that they may have an involvement with that has come to an end. They put an end to it because they choose you. And that's the, you know, that's the communication that's coming with that eight of wands. I feel like they're gonna be honest with you. They're gonna be honest with you for the first time, you know, completely honest. I feel like they've been honest with you, but I feel like they've been high, you know, they haven't been completely honest when it comes to telling you that what's going on with this other person. You know, I feel like they haven't been not so much lying to you, just more of omitting it. But now they want to tell you. They want you to know that they chose you. They want you to know that they choose this connection. And they want you to know that they have really strong feelings for you. Like I said, in the beginning, I feel like it was a physical connection. It may have been something casual. But the more they got to know you, the more they felt connected to you. You know, the, you know, the more they, they, they enjoyed your company, the more they enjoyed being around you. Like I said, they are going to put in the work. They are going to give you everything they have from here on out. You know, they are putting in the work. Now, they don't have to tell you about this other person. And that's what I want you to see here is, yes, part of you is going to think, okay, well, You know, they weren't, they didn't tell me this. So can I trust them? But I feel like you can trust them because I feel like once they made the decision that, that they feel like you're their person, they're being honest with you. They're coming forward and telling you things that they don't need to tell you, but they want to get it off their chest because they want to move forward with you in the right direction. And I feel like with this person, there's a lot of happiness here. Because they respect you enough to tell you the truth. Like I said, it's something that they could go on, you know, they could choose you and just not mention it. And not have to worry about whether or not you're going to accept them when you know the truth. But they're going to tell you anyway. Because they want it to be clear. They want their conscience to be clear. They want you to know that they chose you. You know, like I said... In the beginning, I felt like it was a physical connection. It was, you know, they didn't really know what was there. And they had another connection that they, you know, they kind of kept around. But I feel like the, the more they got to know you, the more they started to understand the connection. They started drifting from that other person. They started spending, wanting to spend more time with you and less time with them. To the point where they didn't want to spend time with that other person at all. They didn't want that other person in their life anymore because they want you. Now, like I said, this is all whether or not it resonates with you or not, and it's all free will. You can choose not to accept this person because you feel like they've lied to you. You can choose to not accept this person because you felt like they, they weren't being honest, but like I said, they're being very honest now. And like I said, I don't feel like they were necessarily hiding this other person from you. I just feel like they didn't tell you. They didn't mention it, but they're mentioning it now because they don't want this to haunt them moving forward. They want to be the one to tell you. And like I said, it, it's a very genuine energy. Like, you know, they're authentically putting the, putting their, the, the decision of this relationship in your hands. They don't have, you know, they don't have to come forward and tell you, but they want you to know. Now, like I said, this has grown from a physical connection to, to a mental connection and to an emotional connection. And they are going to nurture the situation. They're going to give you everything you want. They are on the same page. I see a lot of happiness. Now, I feel like once they started getting real feelings for you, there was a really strong internal struggle with this person because they didn't know what to do. Once they realized they wanted you, once they realized that you were the person for them in their eyes... That's when everything changed for them. 
Now, like I said, this is, I feel like you were picking this up. You knew there was something off. But also, I feel like your intuition is going to be telling you that this person is coming to you and they're coming to you correct. They're trying to make up for their mistake. Now, you may not like it. That's free will. But know that when this person tells you what they tell you, it is coming from a very honest place. It is coming from a very authentic place. Now with this person, we have a lot of air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. A lot of fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And a lot of earth, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Like I said, I mean, the thing that I'm picking up off this person is that they weren't sure about the connection in the beginning. So it's almost like they didn't want to, you know, invest right away because they weren't sure where it was going. They weren't sure what they had. And once they realized what they had, that's when everything changed for this person. That's when they, they chose you. They knew what they, once they knew what they wanted, they started working their way to that, you know, to that goal. And like I said, come, moving forward, they, work, they, they, they have a confession to tell you but when they confess to you, you know, they feel guilty. They feel guilty that you don't know. They feel guilty that they feel like they may, be, they may have been hiding you or misleading you and they don't want you to, to think that's who they are. You know, your opinion of them matters to them. And moving forward, they know they need to be honest. And I feel like moving forward, you will get only honesty from this person because they respect you. They respect the connection and they wanna to give to you. That's what I have for you. Be good, take care, stay safe.